Hello everyone, I am Anil Agarwal. I am a faculty in the Department of Civil Engineering at IIT Hyderabad. Uh, I am offering this course on the design of connections in steel structures through NPTEL. This is a one credit course. Uh, one credit is equivalent to about four weeks of lectures. Uh, the course would involve about 12 hours of uh, lectures overall. So this course is actually uh, focuses on the uh, behavior and design of steel connections. So it is expected that the participants in this course would have some basic understanding of uh, the behavior and design of steel members for axial compression, axial tension and flexural conditions. And uh, as you might know that mo nowadays most of the structural members can be designed uh, for uh, various types of loading conditions using one of the softwares and as a result often designers don't really have to uh, know or understand the designing uh, procedures for the member design. However, connection design still remains a manual operation and uh, the skill and knowledge of the designer really plays a very critical role in an efficient design of a structure. The majority of the content of this course will be from the undergraduate curriculum. However, the depth that to which we will take this, uh, this, uh, this discussion to will qualify this course as a graduate level course. And uh, this course should be useful for practicing engineers as well as uh, the students who are preparing for competitive exams such as GATE, etc. So this course would start with a discussion on the different, cl different classifications of bolts and welds, how they behave and fail under different types of loading conditions and the different limit states which they are designed for. Subsequently, we will see how a combination of bolts and welds can be used in real structures. So uh, we will talk about designing a simple connections, also simple and rigid connections in seismic and non-seismic frames. Now IS 800 also has a section on the design of uh, steel structures for earthquakes. So we will discuss a portion of that as well in this course. Uh, Gazet plates are often used in uh, uh, trusses and in to connect braces to a frame and they, they, they can become very critical under certain conditions and their design will also be discussed in this course. Um, I will be using a large variety of textbooks and reference material to teach this course. Uh, Dr. Subramanian's book on steel design of steel structures that will be the uh, primary source of most of the material that will be presented in this course. This is a very good textbook for Indian context. The book by Salman et al is uh, a very uh, good textbook <clears throat> for international uh, audience and uh, for, uh, for understanding of basic concepts it's a very good book so i will be using some material from there um, the books by professor dubgal and professor negi they are all useful books and they have been used by um, in various indian universities so some material will be taken from there specific to this topic uh, the book by boracheni and tamboli and these design examples from AISC, they will be used as reference material when it comes to the discussion, especially to connections. And for design of ductile frames uh, for earthquake conditions, the book, the book by Professor Bruno et al. will be used as a reference material. In addition, we will be following the Indian Steel Design Code, that is IS 800, for most of the design calculations. I may also present a comparison with some of the international codes, such as the AISC 360, to explain the, uh, the fundamental differences between the different codes and to bring home some principles. There are different codes that provide classifications of bolts and welding electrodes based on their shapes, sizes and material characteristics. These codes will be referenced for guidance while selecting a particular bolt or a welding electrode in design. Since this is a four week course, there will be a total of four assignments. These assignments will be both objective and descriptive in nature. There will be one final exam. This will be paper based exam. The questions will be both again objective and descriptive in nature. I really hope that the participants would enjoy this course and uh, it would help them um, progress with some additional professional growth.